I have heard you numerous times refer to Africans in America as so-called African Americans, <laughs> yeah. right? Or uh, so-called black people. You say it all the time, but I never heard you explain. Please explain. What do you mean by so-called African Americans or so-called black people? So-called black people. Black is the color of my hair. Black is the color of this watch band. Black is the color of the hoodie you got on. So, of course, we're not those colors. We are brown. We're copper. We're bronze. We're brown people. That's our pigmentation. That's the color of our melanin. So uh, that's why I say call, so-called black, because black is the color of our Crayola. Black is the color of our crown. We're not the color of a crown. We're copper skinned people. The reason why I say so-called African-Americans, because not all, but 98 percent of the so-called Africans that's in America and they're not African at all. We actually are indigenous to this land and we come from this land. So we have to quit acting like that all life started in Africa. No, all life simulated everywhere. There have been black people on every inch of this planet since the beginning of this earth. You know, so we have to understand that and really do the research. And when you really do that research and you travel the world, you will see that when you go to Asia and you go to China, the first people there that are still there now that they have ran to the mountains was Asiatic so-called Africans. The only reason why they put Africans to anything that's black, but that's not true. That's not true. Matter of fact, if you go to Africa, most of your African tribes don't even call that land Africa. They have an, another name for it. So where do we get this name from? You start saying that these names are named after conquistadors or people that go on quest and take over things. So the reason why I say so-called African-Americans, I say African-Americans because we identify as that as black people in America. Uh, I say so-called because me personally, I am not a African. Now, am I saying that I'm not in a, a, a relation or, or my DNA doesn't match Africa? Of course, we all a family. The whole world was black before white people were created. I want, to, I want to keep that clear. Everything was indigenous. You have indigenous people of African lands. You have indigenous people of American lands. You have indigenous people of Asian lands. You have indigenous people of European lands. The indigenous people of European lands was called the Moors. They, were, they call it the Dark Ages. Why do they call it the Dark Ages? Because it was ran and controlled by dark people before white conquistadors came and became oppressors over that land. So everywhere on earth, even in Australia, Australia, you have the Aborigines. So everywhere you go on earth, there's a black, there's a so-called black melanated being that originated there first. All life did not start in Africa. Many people are now starting to talk about that. There's a bunch of literature and stuff that's now widely spread and talking about these things. And America is one of the most ancient, oldest civilizations in the world, in the world. We have some of the oldest pyramids in the world. We have some of the oldest sphinx in the world. We have some of the oldest uh, uh, literatures and writings in the world. America is the ancient old world and we can do a debate on this. We can talk about it. Anybody want to sit down and go through the literature? We can. I'm all game for it because I'm that confident in the research and the stuff that I did. The, the, the Grand Canyon is one of the oldest, oldest temples and civilizations of people, of ruins that have been left behind. And a lot of stuff in the Grand Canyon have been carbon dated and it's carbon dated back to be older than certain things that are in Africa. We have an actual pyramid 20 minutes from where I stay is in Cahokia, it's in East St. Illinois, it's called the Cahokia Mounds. One of the most oldest pyramids in the world. The only other pyramid that I have found to be older than that is a pyramid in Mexico. But guess what? When you go to Mexico and you look at the populations around those uh, pyramids, do you see Spanish people of light complexion? You see nappy headed, dark skinned people that speak good Spanish because them are your original Mexicans. You can't go to no geographical location on earth that it wasn't melanated beings there first. Whether I'm talking about the Dominican Republic, I'm talking about Puerto Rico, I'm talking about Cuba, South America, anywhere you go on the land, you're gonna see black people there first. And then all other people come from us. And these are just, this is the truth. Science backed this up, biology backed this up, biochemistry backed this up. So when I say so-called African-American, it's not to be derogatory towards African people. Them are our brothers and sisters. We are cousins through the genealogies of DNA and bloodlines. We are all connected. But I don't come from Africa. My ancestry line don't come from Africa. I come from the Shabti tribe of Louisiana. I know the tribe I come from. I know the zone I come from. We Chick Talk Nation. I know my people. We are not African. We not. We are indigenous to the Americas. I, I was talking to a, uh, a gentleman one time, and he was breaking down uh, locally over here um, his ancestry, and he was showing pictures. But the pictures he showed me didn't look like traditional indigenous people that mm. we see they were all basically they weren't fully 
black looking, yeah. but they weren't that light indigenous. But see, here. but then you got the five dollar Indian too, where you got a lot of you got the Spanish conquistadors who came in and they made it amongst us on purpose to take over our identity in our land. So you see your typical older uh, natives, they still got dark complexions, but you see them with straight hair and stuff. That's where integration and breeding came in at. And then after a, a, a lot of decades after that, you start seeing them have the pointy nose, the long hair. Now they build in teepees. We didn't build teepees, we build huts. So if you look at what they're doing and you see where they come from, they come from a different part of the world, but they migrated to the Americas and now they got all the casinos, they getting all of these different you know, uh, rewards from the government, but that all was to keep us out. The whole plot and plan was is to create this mass translatic slave uh, propaganda, not saying that black people was not enslaved in America. We were, we suffered from slavery. My great, great grandma was actually in slavery. She used to tell me slavery stories, but that was the, the European man coming over here and taking their own land from them and making them work on their on they own land. We was already selling and trading cotton. I wanna make that clear. They came over and took over our trading of cotton and our selling of cotton and put us in slavery in our own land. We are prisoners of war. It's a difference. We are, we are more prisoners of war than slavery. That's why, for, for instance, a slave, that's a product. You make money off of it. You wouldn't castrate it because you would want it to make more slaves. We were castrated. You wouldn't burn hundreds of thousands of them alive. That's your product. Why would you, cre why would you destroy your product to make you more money? We were prisoners of war. They came to our land. They took over our land. The strong ones of us, they broke us mentally and then they made us work on our own land. How you think we did the shit so good? We're the, we're the best cotton pickers because we was picking cotton before they came here. You see what I'm saying? So so then they, 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 they made it seem like it was this big mass translatic slave trade where millions of us came from Africa. Where's the boats? Where's the boats at? Like everything in history have evidence of the past. They didn't. They didn't found pyramids in the sea. They didn't found Atlantis. They didn't found every. They didn't found things in the Bermuda Triangle. They have explored a lot of the depths of the sea. Not saying that hundred percent of it was been explored, but majority of of the sea have been explored. Where they finding all these ancient relics showing us the past. Where are these slave ships? Now, if you research and you study shipwreck shipwrecks, and if you study different things that was left in the sea from here to the Caribbean islands and from here to all the other different islands, you will find relics of our people leaving from South America going to these different islands. You will see that, but you won't find anything uh, of significant amount of evidence that's coming from so-called Africa to America. You won't find it. Why? If, if, if we went through this big transatlantic slave trade, then where are the true stories coming down from my ancestors and coming down from my family? I'm very deep into my family. I know my family bloodline, where we come from. My grandma on my mama's side was full blood, I mean, on my father, uh, on my grandpa's side or my uh, uh, paternal side, full blooded Cherokee. She used to chew tobacco. She had long ponytails. She used to give me buffalo quarters that's worth hundreds of thousands of dollars now. And I wish I would have kept them. But she was full blooded Cherokee. She used to be in her full Cherokee uh, regalia talking to her. I used to sit by her left hand and she had she ended up getting like throat cancer because all she did was chew tobacco. Ancient traditions of Indians in America. And she told me where she was from. My grandma, my great grandma on my, my uh, maternal side was full blooded uh, Choctaw, a Chapte from Louisiana. So I tra I did my genie. And then it's another thing. You have something called African ancestry and guess what you got too? Indigenous native ancestry. Why is there two different blood tests? So I even think it's something going on with that on what they're doing with these DNA tests that's automatically bringing us back to Africa. There was a test done where this dude, it was a, it was a white man. He said that he had a suspicion about them lying with the DNA test and he sent the saliva of his lizard to Ancestral.com. Did you know his lizard came back 34% Nigerian? <laughs> just, I'm just saying. So, so man, all this propaganda, man. And look, I, I don't care if they mad at me or not. All I'm saying is research what I'm saying. I know it sounds taboo, but what happened if the biggest conspiracy in the history of lies happened? And that is that we are indigenous from America we come from America, we don't come from Africa, but in order for them to take the precious treasures of America, which we have oil, we have gold, we have copper, we have, we have all of that here. They act like all oh, this is in Africa. All oh, this is here too. What happened if it was to drive us out, connect us back to Africa for we wanna go back home and while we going back to so-called home, we're leaving our home and they taking over our land. I'm just saying, when you really think about it, then look, 
what happened if the maps is flipped? Because for, from, from my understanding of my studies, Labanine, Illinois, was called Labanine before there was a Labanine over there. What about Israel? Here. What about Judah? Or what you would call Utah? This is here. You start getting into these old names. There's a, there's a city out here called Morocco. There are, these are different cities. In, what about Memphis? Where's Memphis at? Memphis, Tennessee, that has one of the oldest pyramids here. It's a pyramid in Memphis right now. They didn't put glass over. That's a real pyramid. But then you have a Memphis over there and where? Egypt. What about Cairo? Cairo, Illinois. That's, that's here in the Americas. So we have these different cities in these different states named after stuff that's in Africa. But when you do deep research and study, these was named that here before it was named that there. I'm saying we got to talk about. Then you think you got stuff like Milwaukee. That's an Indian tribe name. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, which, uh, uh, Chattanooga. Chattanooga, Tennessee. Ch 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 that's an Indian name. So you start going and then you got different you got different sections in because Missouri and Illinois is one of your ain't one of your most oldest places in the world where I'm from one of your most oldest places you got you got Chickawa Street you got Cherokee Street and then you start seeing there's different museums around there that got all of our stuff in it that got other people faces on it they have did this to the whole world where they go around where ancient ancestral black people come from they will change the faces to them and then they'll take our history so my belief, my research, my study shows that we are in the oldest parts of the world, which is ancient America. We are not from Africa. Uh, I do believe that all people of melanin descent do have some type of ancestral and DNA connection, but we are not all the same people and we don't all keep a hold of the same traditions. And I believe a lot of islanders like such as yourself actually come from the lower Americas and it actually was a ship's trade there where a lot of, of y'all went from the South America to the islands, but it didn't happen the other way where we all came by millions on this big ass boat, stacked on each other like sardines, came over from Africa, from a port called Yehuda, I mean Yehuda, all the way over to the Americas. And I haven't found any evidence that truly, truly suggests that. Now, can you tamper with evidence and make things look like some? Yes, that's why we all think we are from Africa when we not. And there is there is no coincidence that you don't only have African-Americans, but you have African-Australians. You have African this, African that. Why do they feel the need to keep putting that name on it? Because they're trying to make us subconsciously identify with a place that is not really our home. This is our home. And I want you to clarify stuff for people that struggle with listening and hearing stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So you believe the slave trade took place, but not to the magnitude that they say. Exactly. All yes. Right. I just want to clarify. No. For those so I do believe listening. I can't, I, I hate to call it slave trade. I will call it prisoner of war trade. All right. I do believe that we war took against our will and taking over water, not this vast amount of water, but over water and went somewhere else to work for, for hire. Uh, or to work for free, should I say. I don't think it came from Africa to the Americas. I believe it happened reverse where we went to the Americas to different islands and stuff like that. I do believe that. And then and, and the reason why is because you can find evidence of that. But as, as I really, really research, I can't find no, no really good hard evidence of, especially of the boats and stuff, of us coming from Africa to the Americas. And look, I'm willing to have a sit down and talk. And, and if, if I find that evidence, I will change my 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 concept a little bit but it's too much evidence to show that we originate from the americas and one thing i want to clarify people don't listen fight i just want to make sure i hear what you're saying but i want to make sure people are hearing what you're saying mm -hmm. please clarify that uh the notion that um so you believe africans black people have an african origin but they just been here longer they didn't come directly from africa they came here at some point no, I'm not saying that. All right, I'm saying so. Saying. This is what I'm, I don't believe we come from Africa at some point. I don't think that all life started in one geographical location. I believe that life originated from Earth simultaneously in different spots. Now we have to get into. Ah, I see what you're saying. All right, yeah, all right, yeah, but I believe that all of us, or I don't think somebody was born in Africa and then migrated millions and trillions of miles and man developed in different yeah, places. I think man, I All think right. man developed in different places. And I think the development of man in different places do come from the same DNA. That's why I say African brothers and sisters are my family, but we have different traditions. We even our physiological and our, our DNA structure is different. 
from us in Africa. Like we're, I did a whole seminar showing the biological difference, not only between so-called African-Americans and Europeans, but so-called African-Americans and African people. There's different physiological structures that's different. Now people will argue and say, because the geographical location we have adapted to, to, to uh, we have adapted in certain ways to survive in our environment. And I, and I can agree with that to a certain extent, but still the facts are the facts. So I'm saying that we originated in America, just like the Aboriginal Australians, the black pe so-called black people over there, they didn't come from Africa or the Americas, they originated in Australia. Same thing as the Asians, who they call Asiatic, Afro-Asiatics. I don't think that they came from Africa. I, it's too much stuff, evidence showing, and I could do another seminar on this. It's too much evidence showing that they originated there. I think we, uh, uh, what they call it, spontaneous or simultaneously were created in different parts of the earth for a reason. Now you have to get into hybrid and gene selection. You just go back deep into the Anunnaki. It's all the same story. All the same story that comes. Yeah, fight. but <laughs> this, story. but this all goes back to the same biblical story. Whether it's biblically, whether we talking about the 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 Egyptian scrolls, the Anunnaki scrolls, all these different scrolls talk about a mass creation everywhere on Earth. It don't. Only time I see where it talks about in one part, Eastern and Eden. That's talking about the Bible. And then even when you get into that literature, I speak and read fluent Hebrew. Eden was the whole world. Eastern and Eden was over there in Mesopotamia. So, man, look, we can talk. Look, I do this for real. That's what I'm saying. So people going to get on here. People going to get on here and cuss me out and have crazy comments. All I'm asking is before you do that, just study the whole matter. There is some validity in what I'm saying, man. It really is.